This November Nintendo is going to release the first DLC for Mario Kart 8 and guess what, it's based on Zelda. Now we didn't really know what to expect from this, so I did some researching and here are my findings! Welcome to Zelda Pot Smashers! Now I'm alone here, that made sense because there's really not enough content for a podcast, so now it's more of an info video. What has been confirmed so far? We're getting three new characters, Tanuki Mario, Cat Peach and Link. As for vehicles, we're getting four new ones. One is the Millennium Falcon, wait, the Blue Falcon from F-Zero, the B-Dasher from Mario Kart DS, the Tanuki Buggy, which is basically a small jeep, and then there is the Master Cycle, which is basically a bike based on Epona. Fun fact, in Germany it's called the Aponator, and in Dutch and Russian it's called the Triforcer. All three are pretty epic names, I guess. Now, you have two new cups in this pack. Uh, one is called the Triforce Cup, and the other the Egg Cup. Now, when I heard Triforce Cup, I thought, yeah, four tracks based on Zelda, awesome. Uh, but that might not be the case. So far, what they revealed is that it's going to have uh, a track based on like side bike, one on F Zero. It will have at least two retro tracks, Yoshi Circuit and Wario's Goldmine. And that's already four tracks. And then there might be uh, a few more retro tracks. So I don't know. Four Zelda tracks seems a bit unlikely at the moment. On the other hand, now for the first time in Mario Kart history. There are cups with a mix of new stages and retro stages. They've shown that the uh, Egg Cup will have the Excite Bike track and Yoshi Circuit. So it could still be that they put F the F Zero track and Warriors Goldmine into the Egg Cup. Well, let's do a best case scenario and a worst case scenario. Best case, those four tracks are in the Egg Cup, which leaves. Triforce Cup with four new Zelda tracks. Worst case scenario, uh, there will just be one Zelda track and that's it. I think that's a bit, uh, that would disappoint me a bit, but by now I'm also not expecting four. You're probably going to be disappointed if that's what you're expecting. So that's what we know so far, and I guess then it's time for some fun speculation. We came up with some ideas of our own and I stole a few off the internet. So I think if there's going to be just one Zelda track, then I think it's going to be something generic. Something that shows the different aspects of Zelda game. They want every Mario Kart player to think, hmm, Zelda looks cool, maybe I'll play that. So, like maybe Hyrule Circuit or something. You start in the castle, you go out into the fields, you... Uh, go through a forest area, maybe a little bit of a desert, and then you go back again. Or they could do one of those bigger courses where you don't have three laps, but you start at one point and end in a totally different place. Then they could do something like, maybe you start on top of Death Mountain, you enter the Fire Temple, uh, then you race through Goron City for a bit, you come through Kakariko Village, Kakariko, and you end up in uh, Haru Castle, something like that. And I wonder if they're going to do something fun with Ganondorf and Zelda. Like, maybe somewhere on the track you have to evade Ganondorf's attacks, and then at the end Zelda waits for you, glad to be rescued. Something cute like that. I, I, I can see that work. Now, if there are multiple Zelda tracks, then they have the freedom to take settings from a specific Zelda game. Maybe Skyward Sword or The Wind Waker. And base a track on that. First of all, some people think they saw a Zelda track, uh, something like the Lost Boots, in the pictures that Nintendo released of the DLC. But that's not possible because it's posted in the uh, second DLC pack, the Animal Crossing one. So they haven't shown any Zelda track so far. As for ideas, I think Skyloft makes a lot of sense. Also because Link looks like he's, uh, he's based on Skyward Sword Link. And yeah, Skyloft would just be perfect for a racing game, man. The track would go all over the island, down the cave, uh, up the waterfall, upside down across the bottom of the island. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. There's a lot of potential there. One other 
idea I think could really work is outside islands from the Wind Waker. Um, you could start in a village with uh, Link's grandma waving and cheering you on and all the other villagers there. The, the, the track could also go across the pirate ship and the winds. I could do fun stuff with the wind direction. One other idea I had was Long Long Ranch. Although it might be a bit too small for a complete track, so maybe they should do Hyrule Fields and then Long Long Ranch would just be one part of it. Uh, could work. Another idea would be Hyrule Castle or maybe including Castle Town from either Ocarina of Time or Twilight Princess. Um, but I'm not too excited about that, I guess, because Mario Kart already has a lot of castle tracks. This would be just another one with maybe some Zelda details, but it doesn't excite me too much. In general, I think it's going to be a track from a 3D game. Um, it should be very recognizable for Zelda. You don't want to play it and think, hmm, is this the Mario one or the Zelda one? No, it should, be, it should breathe Zelda, you know? It probably won't be from a game that didn't sell that many copies. They could do something from Majora's Mask, but I don't think they will. Um, we'll see, it's getting close. They didn't announce a date yet, but um, it should be out in the coming weeks. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm trying to keep my expectations low, and um, we'll just hope for the best. It's going to be pretty awesome anyway. And it kind of makes me want a complete Zelda card game. But that's probably never gonna happen. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let us know what Zelda tracks you're expecting and how many. You can follow us on Facebook, but also Miiverse. We each have our own account. We play through Zelda and post pictures of that. So, uh, as a wise man once said, link in the description below. And uh, see you guys next time.